All right, here we go. Hole one. Basically, max top, uh, two left. We're using a Titan ball, so max top, max left. Push it to max uh, with the yellow next to the rough there. You can see the yellow next to the rough. And then basically adjust and take your shot now. I adjust here and push back up because I want that bit of extra distance. But you don't have to push back up, it's up to you. Right, so that was 352 yards, which is uh, about mid, just over mid. I mean, me, I tried to get to 370 yards, so I can play for minimum distance. And I play the backspin shot because the green's glitchy. So sometimes it'll stop before, sometimes run afterwards, and sometimes you just can't get a ball guide to there because it keeps glitching. So best to play the backspin shot. Now, see the wind's blowing left to right, so you want to play it to the right. See, see where it is, like once. See where I have it in the corner of that square. It's like one square away. Justin, take your shot. Okay. Wasn't far enough, but never mind. All right, hold two. <clears throat> and uh, DJ9, you don't use an app. So if, if you're not using an app, use a Titan ball like I am there. And basically, the, the adjustment is one to one. So basically, you're just the same as the wind. <clears throat> a sniper and a power three ball Titan. Probably. So basically, just have the red the top of the uh, fairway there, edge of the rough, and basically a ball guideline to the hole. <clears throat> but you've got a headwind there, so make sure your second bounce, see where the second bounce is, uh, it's just about nearly on the fringe, right, or just on the fringe. Right? Make sure your second bounce is that far away from the rough near, it, near you. And just basically adjust and take your shot. So 6.6 .6 there, so just 6.6 .6 rings. Right, same hole, different shot for Stuart. Now, basically, it's got to be a power one ball, right? So, using a navigator, that wind will be about seven, so I use the wind ball. <clears throat> but basically, I think it's uh, three back, one right, and the adjustment is 15% min. So, I have the green, see the green bit of the in the middle, near the top of the rough, just about touching the rough. Ball guideline at the hole, but I think towards the left, just over the left. Right, a hole three. Uh, again, a Titan ball. And make sure you have a big dog or a. Or if you've got a Horizon 6 Plus, use that. Basically, max top, one left, and you want the yellow. 
uh, at max distance right next to the rough there. See the yellow right next to the rough there. So the ball guidelines, just like that. And adjust and add a slight left curl. I didn't have, yes, just slight left curl there. You can do a little more left curl if you like, but not too much. As I can see, <coughs> I hit it grey, but it was fine. Look here, luckily for me. But then the second shot, as you can see, <coughs> I had a big dog. You got tailwind, so you can use that tailwind to help you get a bit further. So 5.2 is about two and a half rings, I think. So it would take me another two and a half rings forward. <coughs> so no need to adjust back because the wind's pretty straight as well. Not exactly straight, so left. Knitting great on a big dog or a horizon isn't very advisable, but it got me to where I wanted. Right, hole four. Now, use a katana, same as me here, and the adjustment is one to one plus one. So that means uh, just same as the wing, uh, same as the wind, but add one ring. So anyway, there we go. So the wind there is 7.5. <clears throat> so instead of adjusting seven and a half rings, you adjust eight and a half rings. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the spin is one left and one and a half top, or one and a half top and one left. Right, so add the spin, one and a half top, one left. Then the red, just slightly uh, on the fringe. I didn't have it far enough up there. But just wiggle the club around so it's the ball guide is up the hole, through the hole, whatever. And adjust, and like it says here, seven five wind, move eight and a half rings. I should have had the red a bit further up there. Never mind. Right, hole four. A uh, couple of things to remember. Now, first of all, look at the wind. Right, the wind is 7.1. Now, any wind over like 6.8, right? So, say any wind over 6.8, put three and a half top spin. If the wind is less than 6.8, then put uh, four top spin. And if you're crazy enough to get a wind of eight mile an hour, which I doubt, but you know, then just drop it back to about two and a half to three top spin. But anyway, you don't have to count anything. Just see the spot there, right? So start there with your club. Just stretch it out so it's uh, the end of the bushes, beginning of that tree. I can't point it out. So just start there. Right, let's. let's Top spin, so three and a half top spin, no side spin. Then you want to put max over power and max left curl as you can. One thing is, you see the needle on the left there, you want to try and get it to the left when you let go uh, to the left as possible. Just hook it.
Right, right hole six. No, you won't have the clubs or the ball, even with a power five ball, wind ball, deck smile eight. You, you won't get over. So <clears throat> basically, make sure you don't lose your birdie. And I prefer going this way because it, it gives you half a chance of getting the albatross with a rough pump. So what you want to do is lay up on the right-hand side there. Now, I'm using a kingmaker, but a titan's fine. Make sure you don't, you know, the ball guideline on extra mile isn't that good, so make sure you don't go too far rolling to the rough at the end. I was getting scared that it was going to keep rolling. <laughs> and then second shot, which is 10% elevation again. <clears throat> Just basically lay up on that on that uh, green fairway there, green little island fairway there. Now you want to be near the bottom of that, um, that little island thing, whatever you want to call it. Not the top. If you go near the top, then you, you'd probably end up between clubs, in between clubs. So always play nearer to the bottom of this green island than whatever, you know what I mean? Perfect shot. But then the last shot should be with your sniper. Basically, you'll see like it's about mid distance. So, mid distance is good because then it's just uh, one to one. So, the adjustment is just one to one using a power three ball, as much as Kingmaker or a Titan, whatever. Then, just let's see where the see, see where I have the blue, blue ring there. See the blue, it's like the left bit touching the bunker and the right bit at the end of the rough. <clears throat> and the trouble is you're adjusting into the bunker and it it, um, it alters your adjustment a little slightly great shot. and hitting great doesn't help oh yeah Perfect shot, wouldn't be too far off. Alright, hole seven. And uh, basically, it's a no move target, so do not move your club until you adjust. And it's best to have a, a Titan or a Kingmaker if you have plenty. And the adjustment is 25% max, right? So, DJ9, you can ask your wife to have a calculator with her, you tell her to win, and she can add in 25% and tell you what how far to move. <laughs> But basically, that, that's what it is. So whatever the wind is, add uh, at twenty five percent. And all you have to do, like I says, you don't move the club. Just add half a right spin, then adjust and take your shot. Either come close or it'll go in because as you can see the wind arrows are always fluctuating Perfect looks that even if you don't get it you'll always come close all right hole eight and i was thinking about uh um, hook slice whatever do you know what I mean but what's you know more than likely end up in the rough or the bunker so this is I've got the eagle on this way so many times so go the same trusted way so basically max top two left play from like the one yard mark there with the ball guide like that you can see the ball guide like that it's like near the middle but towards the left 
and adjust. And when you're taking your shot, add a little bit of left curl. What you want to get to is like anywhere between 357 and 362 yards. Then you can play with a minimum thorn. Fifty eight, that's five. Now, if you get within wedge range, don't worry, right? You still get a shot in the hole. But here you see three fifty eight yards. Now watch you see I move back and I know I'm in min minimum thorn range. See so I'm at min. So based just basically ball guideline to the hole, start the hole. Then adjust at minimum distance, which six point two is about nearly two rings. Now uh, this is the shot I played for real, the other one was practice, but this time I went a bit too far. I didn't want to go with the veg, wedge, and with the backspin it wasn't so good with the thorn, so basically it's still good to play the backspin shot. So, because you know you're at minimum distance, right, so just, just put all the max back, one right, and you see the wind's blowing left to right, so I have the ball guide down to the left of the hole. Because once it bounces up in the air, it'll, the wind will push it the other way, you see. So can you see how far away from the hole it is? Hold nine and make sure you got your big dog again. Big dog and Titan. And instead of overpowering, I started at max. Red ring next to the uh, next to the rough. And I used, I think, four and a half top spin. Yeah, I used four and a half. So I would suggest go five top spin and max left. And it went four and a half. And then max left curl. Perfect shot. But no no overpower. Even though I went into overpower there <coughs> when I when I adjusted. This got over, so five would have been better, five top spin. Because I kept the rough too much, left me a little bit behind, but wasn't it still gave me a chance to get to the green. But with a headwind as well, this, this hole is really a tough one, to be honest with you. So just do your best with your second shot, just to try, try to get on the green, you know, just to get the eagle. Playing a shot with maximum overpower with a ball like Titan. Odd to it, perfect. So, unfortunately, in the bunker for me. But never mind. Right, hole 10. And pretty much the same as hole 1, except no, uh, no need to add any curl. So, max top. Two left. You can see I used the kingmaker, but still only two left. A Titan ball is recommended, by the way. So max top two left. Yellow by the rough again at max sixteen yards. 
and just adjust for the wind and just hit perfect. Put slow OP because like I explained in whole try and get try and get as far as I can really. But but overpowering can make you hit great like that. <laughs> I was fortunate that went rolled back fairway. That's so uh, three thirty four I got to, so I think that yeah, I think that left me at max distance. Yep, left me at max distance, so same again, backspin sharp, max back, one right. Now the wind is blowing right to left, so this time you want the ball guideline to the right of the hole. See, can see it. I've got it to the right hand side of the hole. Fortunately for me, it wasn't far right enough of the hole. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Right, hole 11. Now, I'll switch to a Titan. Because then you see the adjustment is 1 to 1 plus 10%. Sorry, I forgot to say that on hole, hole 2. Sorry about that, DJ9. But anyway, so whatever the wind says, add 10%. And basically just two, two back, two left. Ball guideline at the hole, and then after you've got the ball guideline at the hole, right, you want to move it uh, to the left about another one and a half squares. One and a half squares to the left. Then adjust. Oops, sorry, timed out there. <laughs> For that. All right, so I'll show you the shot where I didn't time out. So again, just that two back, two two left. I think I already did that on this. So I've already done two back, two left, then right at the top of the fairway, touching the rough, or just near, just about touching the rough. Move it one and a half squares to the left. Then adjust for the wind, so add 10% to the wind, 6.1, so just about 6.7 rings there. Right, hold 12, and make sure you got the big dog again. So, at max distance, yellow next to the rough, max top, one left. So, max top, one left, yellow next to the rough, at max, you know, at 16 yards, which is max. And you can see the ball guideline, ball guideline, something like that. Ball guideline, something like that. And adjust. Now you'll adjust into overpower, so you'll have to add a little bit of overpower. Not much, right? Not much overpower. Don't go mad with the overpower. Just because one thing you want to control of the ball. It's like here, I hit great again. Great shot. Hopefully, I was lucky enough to not go into any trouble. Nearly went in the rough there. And second shot, headwind again, I'm afraid. PD really made it tough. This tournament, well, this round anyway. So just basically do your best to try and get on the green again.
And a massive great left like that doesn't help. But hitting perfect would have got me. A right, hole 13. Uh, again, use a katana. One top, one left. And the adjustment is just one to one. Sorry. One and a half top, one left. The adjustment is one to one. So basically, whatever the wind says, are just that much. I should have put slightly more top on it, but never mind. And I read a bit closer to the fringe. Anyway, see, we're going to club around, so ball guidelines at the hole. It's 5.9 there, so adjust 5.9 rings. Is it? Didn't quite do one and a half, did I? Never mind. Right, hole 14. Now you want to you want to quarterback here. Right? As you can see, I've got a quarterback there. And forget that I'm using Kingmaker, Titan's fine. Now you want the blue ring at four yards next to the rough on the right. Then I think it's uh, four top. I think it's four top. I can't remember that. Anyway, you see the blue blue ring by the rough on the right, or top, no side. Oh no, four and a half top. Yeah, so sorry, four and a half top. You can see the blue ring next to the rough on the right at four yards. So if you've got quarterback nine, it's still the same thing. And you know with the quarterback, uh Basically, add ten percent to the win. So six one there, uh, move six point seven rings. Justin for the quarterback is not so hard. Great shot. I was tired. That's what kept me hitting great. <laughs> From there, I wouldn't play the rough bump. It's very dangerous. So, go for the backspin shot. He should be within thorn range, max thorn range. Max back, one right. And the wind's blowing right to left, so you want it to the right of the hole. And another thing, don't have the ball guideline too far through the hole because you'll roll down, and you'll roll down into the rough and, you know, towards the water here. So, you want to be careful of that. You can see where the, where the tip of my ball guideline is. It's above the hole. And to the right, and see how much right I have it of the hole. And believe it or not, it still wasn't enough. Something like that, above the hole and to the right, and adjust. Turn it perfect. Right, hole 15, and a good chance to get the eagle here, as you'll see. Uh, basically, a titan ball, and make sure you've got the big dog. Right. Nice tailwind here, so basically max top, and I think put one right on here. Well, one and a half right, nearly two right. No, max top, nearly two right, and then you want to aim on the left-hand side there. The left-hand side there, because... It's the narrow, narrowest part of the of that bunker, and the furthest part on the green. You know where if you get second bounce, you don't miss it right at the end. Right, the wind is blowing. I know my battery was going last night, but because the wind is blowing slightly left, I adjusted then pushed back up. It, you want to use that tailspin to get you further forward. And then just basically max OP Great shot. and try and hit it as 
perfect as possible. As long as it gets you across, that's fine. Right now, second shot here, uh, playing a slice gets you on the green, near the green, do you know what I mean? A lot better chance. Right, so, anyway, let me show you. Right, so I don't know what level big dogs you have. But let me see. Uh, where is it? Is it? Let me find it. One second, please. Swung one. There we go. Right, so... Basically, if you have a big dog eight or nine, you see that if you've got big dog eight or nine, then it's 18 rings, right? If you've got level seven big dog, then it's 16 rings. If it big dog at level six, then it's 14 rings. Right, so just keep that in mind, whatever, um, uh, whatever level your big dog is, right? Mine's level eight, so that's 18 rings. So first of all, around there, now I shouldn't really have put Max top. But anyway, whatever, remember you're going to overpower, so you don't have to put uh, enough top spin to get to the green because you're going to get more power overpowering it. So, so hang on, let me go back a bit. Right. So from there, right, I'm, so I'm starting from there. So first of all, the wind is blowing right to left. So you want to account for the wind. So just for the wind first, 6.2, which is about, it's about three rings, two and a half, three rings. Right, so move to the right, the adjustment for the wind. Then for the slice adjustment, like me here, 18 rings. So 18 rings to the left. Yeah, full right curl, full overpower, and slice it, which is on the right hand side there, as far right as you can. That ended up really nice. So have another look at the slice if you need to. Make sure you know how many rigs to move your big dog. Right, all 16, and basically whatever the wind says, plus 25%, uh, using a Titan ball, power three ball. So you can use a Kingmaker if you have loads, if you want to reduce the wind. It won't be that much. And basically, red ring, oh, too quick. So red ring by the end of the fairway, uh, just before the rough, all guideline, just basically pointing at the hole. Uh, no need to put any spin, no right spin, no left spin, no top spin. Right? All you have to do is, like like I said, red by the top there, pull guideline at the hole, and adjust and take your shot. So pull guideline at the hole. And like I said, the arrow twitches left and right, so it's annoying. And adjust at 7 plus 25%, which is, I don't know, 10, 1 1.4, 1 1.75. So about eight and a half rings adjusted there. Perfect shot. Nice on. Right, hole 17, Titan again, max top, max left, so six top, two left. And you'll see where I have the club here, I think it's at eight yards, I think, I'm not sure. So, no, 11 yards, but you see the ball guideline. So basically you want the ball guideline like that, max top, two left, ball guideline, something like that. And adjust, and a little bit of left curl, some left curl when you're taking your shot. See the left curl? Put slight overpower because I just wanted to get within minimum thorn range. 
But you don't have to put overpower. Three fifty nine, perfect. It's like the first round was three fifty eight. So then again, like like the first time around, basically you're at min thorn range. So just move it back, you see, and you're in min. And it's headwind, so you know you're not don't have to adjust back. So basically put a little bit of backspin on. Although I didn't need no backspin here. Just ball guideline through the hole. And then adjust that minimum distance. Seven five here, I think, was two point two rings. Yeah, two point two rings. Then you have to hit it perfect because if you don't hit it perfect, you don't flip and go in. <laughs> it pissed me off that day. Right, last hole, and again, this is a tricky one, especially with an extra mile. And uh, I don't know if you've got APOCs, but you know, you need a APOC, I think APOC, well, APOC 3 would have been alright actually. Anyway, so start with the blue ring. Is it blue ring? Yeah, blue ring to the left there, right, eight yards. The max top, max left. No, if you got kingmaker, use the kingmaker on this one because because of the curl. So eight yards, blue blue next to the blue next to the rough, max top, max left, and then just basically no op, just max left curl as far as you can curl left without adding any overpower. Remember to have the big dog in your back for this. Sorry. Stop. So, so if you wanna, if you wanna ease off a little bit, on the, I put max top there. If, if you wanna ease off to like nearly max top, you know, like take about naught point. Well, you could go five and a half top if you like. Up. Oh. Then anyway, second shot. Got the big dog, and basically just pay for the eagle. And make sure with the big dog, the ball guy line is very good. So what you wanna do is just. Add enough top spin and side spin. Make sure your second bounce is on the green. See where the second bounce is just on the green, right? Just past it, not miles into the green, right? But just past it. See, and just for the win. Four point five with a big dog. It's about two rings. Just over two rings. That's so how you want it for your last shot, nice and easy. Get your eagle on the last and go home happy. Anyway, good luck, guys.